Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to the basement on this day where I'm attempting to catch up and watch everything. And that includes Lucifer season one, episode six, favorite son. Ooh, how many, how many children does God have? Hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to think like, where did we, what, what big reveal did we get last week? And I'm guessing the biggest reveal is that Maze, Maze is tied to Lucifer somehow. How she became as tied the protector of Lucifer. I'm intrigued to find out. Amandel's undercover. Sure. 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 I think overall that was pretty much it. So I'm excited, right, to dive in into it. I'm mixing my words around. Haven't I have been having cocktails today? Yes, yes, I have. Because I'm not going anywhere. And I can. So <laughs> I hope you have your favorite beverage, your big cozy blanket. You're going to remember full episode watch along is available on Patreon. And yeah, we're just going to get right to it. Oh, Cinnamon, where are you going to run to? Well, I run to the rock. I did not know that song actually had lyrics. I do the rock right out. Where you got this one going to? San Diego. Why is he in a mask? He was waiting, I ran to the devil. He was waiting, I ran to the devil. I got a guy bringing down the morning star thing here. Bringing down the morning star thing. (sighs) No, he's not. You think you'd get away with it? If you come clean now, I'll go easy on you. So tell me. Who gave you the cookie? Did you eat the chocolate cake? No, Mommy. Oh, pumpkin. (laughs) Pumpkin. It's just cake. But she lied about it. She lied about it, though. The whole thing, this is about honesty Mm -hmm. and personal responsibility. Mm Mm-hmm. And we said that lying is a really bad thing. Some of your birthday cake is missing. Is there something you want to tell us? I ate it. But Lucifer said it's okay. <laughs> when? When? He said if you really want to do something, you should. And I really wanted to eat some chocolate cake. But is Lucifer your parent? No, he's not. Okay, just don't forget tomorrow night's Taco Tuesday, okay? I'm working a steak out of Ben Nice. We agreed on planned family time so that Trixie can maintain some normalcy during the separation. I know, but this is important. I thought you wanted to work things out. I don't have a choice, Chloe. This Wait, is work. Wait, work things out as in get back together? As in get back together, work things out. Why did they separate? When Trixie asks where you are tomorrow, I'll be sure to tell her that something important came up. That as a fellow officer, she should realize when a case bu- goes, a case goes. Meet Brittany and Brittany. Shall we move the party upstairs? Uh, I'll leave my clothes on, actually. Sorry, girls. I'm a civilian consultant. The detective called. There's been a murder. My services are needed. Wait, the nightclub was open in Rockland during the day? <laughs> and uh, this bruising is from what? Possible imprint. I'll know more mm. once I'm back at the lab. Erwin Scoville, 55. He worked security here for 20 years. Ooh, talk about suffocating. Vice suspects this place has been used by criminal organizations to store illegal contraband. Container went missing, so Scoville probably walked in on a robbery in progress. Security cameras were disabled, so no video. <laughs> Lucifer, it's a dead body. A little respect. A little respect. Let's pretend for one second that you're someone else. Someone nice. Someone mature. Mature. But I've already solved it. I know what killed Irwin. Boredom. I mean, getting murdered is probably the most exciting thing that ever happened to him. When do we get to raid a drug house or shoot someone? That's, that's not her division. <laughs> We're going to do everything we possibly can to catch the killer. Pass. Are you joking? Hard pass. Don't. You're really going to walk away because you think this case is boring? Just call me when you've got a murder with a pulse. So what is he um, trying to find? I mean, I didn't leave hell just to step into another one. Yeah, well, about that robbery, homicide, snooze fest. The container that's missing, it was yours. Coincidence. Hmm. What container? The container. 
Just take the, just take the topper off. Just take the topper off. I suppose if somebody wants it badly enough to steal it, then perhaps they should have it then. This doesn't upset you? I guess it's not that important to me after all. Well, it's your container and your reputation. What about my reputation? Well, apparently it's okay to steal from you now. But if it doesn't bother you, it doesn't bother me. <laughs> she played that so well. We're Kim, she'd be tired. Tom Sizemore. We're partners and I'm offering you my services. I think you need a refresher course on how partnership works. You left me hanging, remember? Mm hmm Yes, but now I'm here because of the robbery because the container that was stolen was mine. And did you know that this facility was used to house illegal contraband? Uh, no, but what better place to store my stuff than somewhere people hide illicit goods? But was your stuff illegal contraband too? Define illegal. What was in the container? Personal item, insignificant. Is it his wings? And I have a lead. And they're at the beach? Snow cones? This is your lead? Yes, I'll have two tropic wonders and your face smashed into the ground. <laughs> That's not how you question people, Lucifer. Pathetic Sap's real name is Frankie Costa and his real job is transporting and storing illegal goods. Someone knew to rob it, he'd be involved. <laughs> I wouldn't steal from my own operation. <laughs> Who would know about the storage service? Who are you? I'm someone with one of these. So say if I were to walk away, he can do whatever he wants to. Or, if you're not responsible, you can point us in the right direction of someone who is. Los Diablos. The biker club? I run the warehouse, but they run the docks. Fine. <laughs> and he's taking the snow cones. Uh, something's going on with you, and it has to do with that mysterious container. So no more games. What's in it? Uh. It was a gift from my father. Well, what was it, his memoirs? Some priceless porn collection? Look, if we're gonna work together on this, you're gonna have to trust me, all right? Because he's been so trustworthy. <laughs> you know, I put up with a lot of crap to let you in on my cases, and that's because thus far you've been honest with me. But now, for some reason, you're not telling me the full story. Oh yeah, that is kind of true. He's hedging, hedging. He's not being outright deceitful, but he's hedging. Under what rock will we find Los Diablos? It's a very on-the-nose name, if you ask me. Well, that is kind of true. <laughs> you think what Lucifer had stored in there may be illegal. Whatever's in that container, he won't tell me. And for a man who's all about oversharing, it says a lot. So I want you to look into him, try and find out what he might be hiding. Absolutely. Oh, I think he's been doing this for a while, looking into Lucifer. LAPD. Boss is out. Yes, I know. That's why he's there. I need to see your books. Without any foreplay? Is your divorce final yet? That's none of your business. Now, are you going to show me your records, or do I need to get a warrant? The books are in the office, and there are way too many of them to carry all by myself. The books should be all digital. <laughs> Speaking of someone who works in accounting, they should be digital. Right this way. Yes, I do keep a paper block up, because yes, I've been part of ransomware. Well, that's not gonna be helpful, Maze. Unless your powers are to obliterate memories. Whatever was stolen from you must have been very important. No, it's the principle at stake here. But who are you trying so hard to become? Nobody. And yet you keep trying on many hats to hide your horns. Playboy, cop, club owner. Yes, we forgot master of all things tongue related. Speaking of which, shall we? That's for later. <laughs> deflection, deflection. One of the hardest things we ever do is learn to be ourselves. I want you to tell me who you believe is the real you. I am second guessing your skills as a therapist. Mm. But that's excellent, it's transference, which means you seek my approval. I seek no one's approval. And time's up. Suddenly I'm no longer in the amorous mood. I'm glad you came back. Oh. Is everything okay? He's just hanging out in the hallway. So what kind of parent names their kid Lucifer? And I don't believe his real name is Lucifer. We talk in metaphors. Patients with delusions. They can be really challenging. He's actually quite charming. Yeah, but even Satan disguises himself as an angel of the light. <laughs> Second Corinthians chapter 11, verse 14. <laughs> Two years of seminary school before I decided I wanted to help people in a different way. 
I thought you seemed pure. <laughs> I want Dr. Linda to therapize Amadel so much. I don't even think that's a verb, but I'm going to make it a verb. <laughs> That's where she put you. That's where Maze put him. He's, he's not going to change, Mom. You know, Dan's just the way he is. And I wasn't asking for the world. I just wanted to see a little effort. And it's probably too late. He's in Trixie's room. That's not a good place to be naked in is your daughter's room. Daddy. Shh. Hey, monkey. What are you doing here? Naked. Give me some clothes. And don't tell mommy that I'm here. I thought you said lying was a bad thing. This is different. Because we're going to play a game. It's called sneak daddy out of the house. That still sounds like a lie. You're just going to have to go with it, okay? What's in it for me? Cake. What do you want? <laughs> Chocolate cake. Done. For a whole year. <laughs> Mommy, I'm thirsty. Okay, oh, on. she's Done. sneaky. Now, will you please go get me some clothes? Better hope your clothes are there. What the hell did you do to me? <laughs> One second I'm standing here, next second I'm in my ex's bed. Naked. <laughs> did it work? Do you two have sex? No. And why would you even want Chloe and I to have sex? So that you and her will get back together and she'll be out of Lucifer's life. You're not from around here, are you? You have no idea. Relationships, they take time and effort and you gotta work at it like... It's your job. You assaulted a police officer. I'm taking you in. And what exactly are you going to say happened? That a tiny female bartender knocked you out? And carried you. Carried him. Detective. It sucks not getting what you want. Now you have to deal with it like the rest of us. I'm sorry. Is he? I apologize. Crossed the line this morning with Mr. Snowcone. It was a mistake. I realize that now. There's an imprint on the victim's neck that we found under UV light. The cross look familiar? Oh, he's doing something. <laughs> he's Lucifering it up right now. You village people rejects, but one of you has stolen something that belongs to me. Don't look scared, Lucifer. You are the devil. He is the devil. I really want to find my stuff. The hell did you just say? Mm. Harry Potter. <laughs> Who stole my property? Dumb! <laughs> Dumb. Oh, my boys, they don't always have the best uh, people skills. <laughs> Take a breather, Rennie. Now! Hey, Cutter. I'm in charge here. Hey, look, just because we have a reputation as outlaws doesn't mean we had anything to do with a murder. <laughs> you like being considered a criminal, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. He's doing that, I think. <laughs> what else do you want? To own a clothing line. Oh. Clothing line? What? I did not <laughs> see that one coming. I'm 54. Really? I'd rather be in my hammock playing my Stratocaster. All this motorcycle riding and enlarged my prostate. It's unpleasant. We've trademarked our name. We're selling t-shirts and jackets, and we're going to rebrand and go legit. We used to cover the docks, not anymore. I specifically order them off limits. Killer wore a bracelet with an iron cross. Look, uh, a lot of bikers wear iron crosses. Yeah, well, I'm interested in your guys who have iron crosses. But we're not finished yet. Yeah, we're done. Thank you. He's not finished. <laughs> we have this little thing called due process. We can't just force things out of people. Besides, there's an easier way to get our bad guy. 
You saw the look on Cutter's face when he saw that photo. He knows exactly who robbed the docks. He's going to need to deal with this immediately. Or it puts his plan to rebrand in jeopardy. Defying his orders, it's a huge challenge to his authority. He's not going to want to deal with this in public. Bet you the first person he goes to see is the owner of that bracelet. What's well, so your strategy is just to sit here paralyzed, hoping that Cutter leads us to the suspect? What a terrible idea. And surely he wouldn't just... Wouldn't what? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm just having such a hard time getting through to him. Maybe it's because you've been humoring his metaphor without fully embracing it. You mean completely accept that he's actually the devil? Mm -hmm. If only I knew someone who could help me with the Bible. <laughs> he must see himself as evil. Actually, he's struggling. I think he thinks other people see him as evil. You seem attached to this patient. I am very motivated to help him. I see. <laughs> nice save. Is that the devil is essentially a rebellious son. Sounds like my guy. I thought it might. I know how you can get to him, but he might not like what you have to say. But will it help him? He may not realize it, but yes. Mm. Mm. Then let's do it. <laughs> and I think I caught on last episode. Hummel's going by Dr. Kane, so, this is right? I sat in a parked car and not had sex. Ew. Car sex is amazing, by the way. You know, if sitting here not being entertained is so terrible, then maybe it's a sign you should be somewhere else. Have I done something to offend you? Everything. <laughs> For the first time, I don't think you're being honest with me. You have this mysterious container that was stolen that someone was willing to kill for. Oh, what if I am a criminal? I'd have to arrest you. Oh, without the cuffs, then why shy away from a little bondage fun? <laughs> you know, Lucifer, this is serious. And despite all your weirdness, I... Now, I actually really to... like working with you. Like spending time with you. Mm-hmm. Because he is entertaining. I have never liked you. And I will never lie to you. Hmm. What was in the container? Russian dolls. Russian dolls. Hmm. What's that a metaphor for? Here we go. I, was, I knew it was going to be that Renny guy. Renny guy. Yep. Mm -hmm. We need backup in an ambo now. She's going to run after him? On foot? Oh, is she going to try to administer help? Lucifer will go after him. Who's not a police officer in any way. I like it when he gets a little flash in his eyes. I think it's because I know how much he enjoys it. <laughs> Is he just gonna run him over? Run over his bike? Just hit him! <laughs> there. Is her car tracked? Where are we? It's just a shop? He's afraid now. Now go! Can Lucifer walk through walls? Or does he just climb through windows? Or can he separate? You give me what is mine. Was my idea, I swear. Whose idea was it then? I saw them. Who stole them? Oh God. <laughs> they were yours. Who stole them? Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. Can't be sorry now. Please don't. No! 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 Don't! <gasps>
Well, she saw he didn't push him. So where's the container? And they've recovered one container belonging to a Lucifer Morningstar. Where? Inside. You'd never lie to me, right? You're gonna watch me open it. Mm-hmm. It's an awfully big container for, I think it's a pair of wings. Is he doing <sighs> a delusion? Illusion, not delusion. It's the same in this regard. Why go to all this trouble for dolls? Oh, come now, detective. I have to keep some mysteries for myself. Enjoy your dolls. They're not dolls. Ooh, what is this? They're gone. So who took them? That be him, though? I'm glad you came back. Well, I needed to get my parking validated. So your items were never recovered? No. Earlier you said that the items weren't that important. Yet now you seem very upset that they're gone. Sometimes we need to lose something before we can understand its value. Dr. Linda is so smart. Well, you want to talk about my identity? Well, yes, because you're the devil. You told me your names, but you left out a few others. Abaddon, Balliol, Prince of Darkness. Someone's been brushing up on their Sunday school. Yes, but before you fell, you were known as Samael, the Lightbringer. That was a name that connotated your father's love for you. Was casting his son into hell also an expression of his love? Oh, God didn't cast you out of heaven because he was angry with you. How can you presume to know God's intention? Exactly. I can't. Then maybe stick within the limits of your intellectual capacity. God cast you out because he needed you to do the most difficult of jobs. It was a gift. Gift? He shunned me. Oh. He vilified me. He made me a torturer. I mean, why do they blame me for all their little failings? As if I'd spent my days sitting on their shoulder, forcing them to commit acts they'd otherwise find repulsive. Oh, the devil made me do it. I have never made any one of them do anything. Never. For all eternity, my name will be invoked to represent all their depravity. That is the gift that my father gave me. It was an act of love. How do you know? Because you are his favorite son, Samael. Do not call me that, please. When angels fall, they also rise. All you have to do is embrace. And he doesn't hear Amandal's voice through her face. Yes. You don't understand. I can't. But why? Because I stole them from me! You... <laughs> Someone's got them as a king. Open up, give it up. Wow, look how they are stole stored. Look how I feel a flesh and blood, give it up. Oh, 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 oh. So I am intrigued. So Lucifer kind of hated the role he'd been delegated because on the surface it looks like it's not a good role at all. He wasn't feeling good about himself. So he wanted to get rid of anything that reminded him of that role, cuts off his wings, but he didn't destroy them. He kept them. And a thing that looked had to have been custom made, he kept them. I'm thinking who else would have had them except for Amundo? And does whoever has, think that the, the wings themselves have powers? Those are gorgeous wings, by the way. Or is it what they represent? Could Lucifer just stick them back on himself? They're angels and whatnot. They have some sort of magic, but... And if I was Lucifer, <laughs> sitting in Dr. Linda's office, 
and start hearing her go down a route she hadn't really gone before with extra special specificity with arguments that sounded a lot like my brother's, I would go, what have you been reading, learning, listening to? My suspicion would go up because I trust nobody. Okay, so the whole Chloe Dan thing, I think it's because I don't have enough information about why they were married, why they split up and what they're actually looking to go for as a couple. I don't care what's happening to them. <laughs> so every time, we start up with Chloe and Dan. I'm like, why? Why? So I'm hoping at some point the, the storytellers choose a direction to go with that and then just go instead of the wishy-washy because that, that part bores me. I'm going to be thinking about those wings for a while. Huh. Hmm. 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 I feel as if we're at the precipice of a story turn. So there's not a lot, a lot for me to say because I feel like my thought is mid-thought and I need the rest of the information to complete it. Yeah, that's where I'm at right now. So there we go. Episode six, six of Lucifer. <laughs> okay, okay, y'all. So if you haven't already hit subscribe so you know when the next video drops, I think there's a notification and a bell or whatever, whatever you need to turn on so you know when I drop the next episode, I'd appreciate it take care of yourselves it's pollen season now so i wish you well with the allergies five i was gonna say now find five seconds to breathe in the pollen but find five seconds of joy and then come back and watch the next video in the queue so thanks again y'all and until next time